What's going on everybody, it's your Fly Tech Guy Mark here and today we're going to be talking about the Google Pixel 3 XL. I like this phone a lot right now, even though there are new phones coming out like the Pixel 4 soon, the iPhone 11 just came out, you have the OnePlus 7 Pro and 7T, and I'm going to talk about why this phone is really good with the deal that's going on right now. So let's jump right in and we'll talk about the screen and the dimensions of the device. So we have a 6.3 inch display with a notch, unfortunately it's a big notch, but it is a 1440 by 2960 display and then you have a 3430 milliamp battery and 64 gigabytes of storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 12 megapixel rear camera that is probably one of the best cameras you can buy still right now. So that display, it is a really nice display, QHD plus display, it has a lot of pixels, only thing that's not going for it is that notch. And I'm not just kidding, it's big. So although that notch is there, watching videos on this device is really enjoyable. The front facing speakers are great, the screen gets very bright, and the notch kind of just disappears when you start to watch the video. I would rather it not be there, but even though it is, you kind of just stop seeing it over time. Now let's talk about the build of the phone, which I actually really like. Google did a good job making the back nice and smooth with that matte finish going into the glass, and it's something that I enjoy holding in my hand, although it can be slippery at times. I've dropped the phone a few times, and I got a couple nicks on it, but nothing crazy. Usually, I'll just put a dbrand skin on it if um, I want to change it up a little bit, but I don't like putting cases on my phones at all. So I usually just throw a dbrand or I'll get a clear case so I can at least still show off the design of the phone. So let's talk about why this phone is so much better now than when it came out. And that is Android 10. I absolutely love Android 10. It is one of my favorite things so far about this phone since I've had it when it released back in October of last year. So Android 10 recreated all the gestures and change it up drastically. So you have the swipe up to go home, like Apple has right now, and the swipe and hold for the recents button. But one of the things I really like is how you can access the new Google Assistant when you swipe diagonally from one of the bottom of the corners of the screen. Makes it really easy for one hand operations to get that Google Assistant, but you also have that squeeze that you can do to access that Google Assistant too, which is a trade-off. Sometimes I either use the swipe or sometimes I'll just use that squeeze, whatever I'm feeling, but both ways, it's just very easy to use and it's very, very convenient. Another thing that I love about the system is when you swipe from the sides of the screen to go back. Google had a back button with their original UI and it was just a single button to go home and then a back button to go back, but it didn't work as good as I wanted it to when I was using it. But now that I have the gesture to go back from swiping from each side, it works much better and it is actually something that I use all of the time to maneuver through apps, messages, whatever it may be. Another underutilized thing with this phone is the fingerprint sensor. I use it all the time. Obviously, that's how I get into my phone. I don't like using a passcode. I would rather just touch something or use Face ID. It's much easier. And another thing that you could do with this fingerprint sensor is scroll down to get your notification bar, which is pretty useful if you're using it for one hand. So you just scroll down once to get your regular notifications and scroll down twice to get the entire notification panel also with that setting panel um, that you can change some quick settings on. The notch. Yes, it is huge. But it's big for a good reason. There's two 8 megapixel cameras on there and one's a wide angle camera and one is a regular selfie camera that every phone has. But that wide angle actually comes in use sometimes. So if you have a big group of people and you're trying to get a good selfie, not something I do, but you can use it to zoom out and get everybody in the shot. So it is kind of useful and Google put it in there for a good reason. So although the notch is giant, they could have slimmed it down a little bit. It's useful. The notch will go away. Just deal with it. 2019 was the year of the notches. They're going away soon. Don't worry. The best thing for last, that rear camera. Easily, in my opinion, the best smartphone camera out there right now. I haven't been able to test the iPhone 11 yet, but that's coming soon. So right now, we can say that the Pixel 3 grab and shoot, best smartphone camera out there. The modes are all great. Good ones to mess around with are Photosphere. I love doing that one if you got to take um, a picture of something that's really big and you can't capture it all in one spot. 
it turns it into like a 360 camera. Um, and then another thing that I really like is the Google Lens. I use that a lot. Um, you just point that at something and it can tell you what that thing is and where you can find it or how much it is, which is really cool. But the two main ones that people are really going to focus on are just the regular camera and portrait mode. So regular camera, it really has good colors. It actually kind of darkens the shot after you shoot it when it processes, which is pretty cool. But um, from a camera standpoint, it actually makes the image look a little bit better when they darken it and make the colors a little bit darker than brighter. And um, another thing is the portrait mode. The portrait mode is great. You can easily just grab the camera, throw it in portrait mode, click focus, and boom, you have a great photo right there. I've taken a lot of really good portrait mode photos. So this camera you will not be disappointed with at all. So definitely, if you want a camera, on a smartphone that you can get right now for cheap that's going to give you the best shots you should look into this phone so who's going to want to buy this phone right now first the price is a very good price for this phone it's three hundred dollars off that's without a trade-in so you're looking at five hundred dollars for the regular pixel 3 and six hundred for the pixel 3 xl but are you really going to want to buy it well if you're trying to come into the Android ecosystem, you need to start at a Google Pixel because that'll give you the best experience and the cleanest UI that is probably the most similar to Apple's ecosystem if that's where you're coming from. But if you're trying to get a cheaper phone that's a good price and has flagship specs, then this is your phone. If you just want a really cheap phone with good specs that are okay I guess and a great camera then the Pixel 3a and the 3a XL are the way to go but right now this deal 300 off without a trade-in I think if people need a new phone and they don't want to spend a grand on an iPhone 11 or a grand on the Pixel 4 then you should definitely look into getting this Pixel 3 XL other than that guys that's it for me if you got any questions comments leave them down below I'll try and get to them it's your flight tech guy Mark and I'll see you guys in the next one